What's up YouTube, Jamie the Kid Zero Zero here and I'm back with a deck list by kind of frequent request. Um, I'm bringing you my girlfriend's Evol deck um, because kind of a lot of you have been commenting saying you want to see an updated version of it. So I mean after building this I immediately put it on loan to her. I haven't played it myself once, I think tournament wise, but she's played it for about three tournaments now. It's near to about a 50-50 win-loss ratio and it's still got some consistency. But it does need to be reworked, so I'm probably going to work on it later on. But this is kind of version two, ver version 2 build. I might bring you version 3 later on. But for now, let's just get into the build that she's been running. Um, she runs 3 Najasho. Well, I kind of built the initial thing, but she's edited it. But She runs 3 Najasho. Because quite simply, if you open this and Evo Force, you are laughing. Because you can get into some crazy plays. You can get into a first turn Solder, Lagia, Dolka, whatever you want. Any monster you want in your Xyz. In your, in your extra deck. It's just absolutely crazy. Uh, she runs three Westlow because this is an awesome stall on the first turn. Thunder King can't get past it. And it gets you, it nets you an instant evil saw. So that you can go into your Xyz plays next turn and start wrecking stuff. It just gets you into the Lagia and the Dolka and the Solder way faster. So really good card for the deck. She runs one Casanario. She I personally liked it at two. But she wanted to knock it down to one. So, she runs it at 1, and it still sees some play, but nowhere near as much as it should. For her level 6s, she runs 1 Terius and 3 Elias. Elias being the really useful card of the deck, which is because it's a really good target for cast area and things like that. But she wanted to have six, sorry, 4 level 6s in the deck, rather than 3, because she often found herself needing a 4th one off of Evo Force combos. So, I mean, the two of these are still here for cast scenario, but... These two can each be, you know, you can search them off of Evo Force and get into your solder really easily. And to be fair, dropping a 2-4 beat stick straight off the bat with this just isn't that bad at all. Uh, she runs three Serratos because Serrato is a, just a really nice beat stick, even for opening with. It's just really difficult to get around. It's just, you know, it's a stubbornness card and it's a rank, it's a level 4 for getting into your uh, Largiers and Dolkers. Uh, she runs 3 Volcano because Volcano plays in this deck are absolutely insane. The fact that when you special summon this with an Evol tile, you would special summon one Evol Saw from your grave, gives you an instant Lagia or Dolka. And if you can play it right off of an Evo Force combo with Najash, you can go into uh, Lagia and a Solder easily. That and when you get a Lagia, a Dolka, and a Solder on the field, you're feeling a bit jammy. Did you manage that today? Yes, I did. That's crazy. She managed to win out against Insector Agents with this deck, so it proves that it can contend with the and big wind hitters. Ups. And wind-ups. Uh, then otherwise, she runs one Reaper, one Gauze, and two Veilers, because I managed to loan her my second one because of my Defissure build, and the two Veilers really help this deck out in kind of staving off the opponent while it doesn't have the Negation, da negation Dragons out. She runs Staplewise, one Reborn, one Dark Hole, one Heavy Storm, one MST. This is a lot of ones. One Smashing Ground, one Book of Moon, two Enemy Controllers. I personally liked three, but she only liked two because of space constraints. This is still a four. Let me have three. Would I not? Oh no, you had a Lance, but I took it out. So you took it out. Uh, she runs three Evo Force because again, if you open these turn one, you are laughing. Uh, to help get to the Evo Forces, she runs Dualities, and to help recycle her Evil Source, she runs an Avarice. Ah, oh, these cards are so nutty. You c I can't explain. <laughs> like, if if you draw correctly with this deck, it's, it's really OP. It's just drawing correctly. It's quite hard to do. Otherwise, she runs one Prison, one uh, Torrential, two Bottomlesses, because she prefers Bottomless over Warnings, because in this deck you kind of need to hold on to your life points in case you get bad draws, so Bottomlesses are kind of the tactical way to go. Uh, one Solemn Judgment, because Solemn Judgment is still needed. And trap dash shoot. Uh, onto the extra deck. She got a token for Gorse. Uh, two soldiers and an Exa Beetle as the rank six. Exa Beetle is in there more as a kind of a, a a chance card, a what if card, because it is essentially a scrap dragon. It's really useful to have in there, so it's just a good choice to run. The two soldiers are absolutely nuts, however, I don't think I need to go into these. It's just the amount of lockdown they put on your opponent, especially against heavy destruction decks like Insectors. These are really relevant in the meta right now. I don't understand, I mean, the only reason they're such a low price is because they're only useful in pure evils, and everyone seems to be jumping on the bandwagon with the bigger decks. 
So I still think Solder is a really good pro um a really good choice. It's a really good card. She runs the one Lagia, sorry one Dolka and three Lagias. Because Lagia is in my opinion much a uh, much better card than Dolka in most matches. It's just Dolka is a very situational card. But it's useful against certain decks like Insector Agents and things like that, and wind ups. But these are overall better to have around. So Lagia, in my opinion, is an absolutely nutty card, but I would not run the deck without Adolka on standby. And rounding off the rank 4s, she runs 1 Utopia. For the rank 3s, she runs 1 Leviathan Dragon and 1 Zen Mains. She does have her own, it's just I've chucked my one in this video when I was building the extra deck. Nothing much more to say there. For Synchros, just compulsory Synchros, she runs 1... Uh, Catastor, 1 Brio, 1 Black Rose, 1 Stardust... One Trishula. Uh The whole reason is these are just in here kind of as staples. She hardly ever synchros with this deck, but they're just in there because they're needed. But yeah, guys, this has just been a kind of quick run through of Evol's version 2. So let me know what you think. Anything that can be changed because I'm looking to make some drastic changes to this deck with my with like my stuff. Make it a bit more competitive, but I'll see what I can do. So if you guys can help me out, that'd be great. Otherwise, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the comments box below. Have a good one.